Welcome to this episode and a guided tour on Svea, a Nayad 405 from 2008. It is a center cockpit boat designed for blue water cruising, ideal for two to four persons. So now we are in the front of the, uh, the boat. Uh, it's, uh, this part is also traditional uh, with the proper anchor box where we also store the, the gas. Um, so we have 40 meters of 10 millimeter chain and then another 60 meter of rope attached to the chain. And uh, we bought the um, uh, the anchor is a uh, Rockna, 33 kilos, uh, very much uh, over. It's probably too big for this boat, but we want to make sure it holds in all conditions. And some special features on the, the Nayad uh, is, is this uh, very handy leather, uh, so it's easy to step ashore if you have the, uh, the stern and we can just uh, uh, keep it upwards. So, so we have the infurling main. We were quite uncertain about that. Uh, we haven't used it before on any other boats, but we're super satisfied with it and it feels very reliable. Uh, the mast uh, and all the shrouds are very over oversized. Uh, we have a three spread rig uh, radar. On the boat it's very well ventilated. We have the three deck hatches and uh, uh, the windows in the back uh, or from the middle and the back uh, uh, can be open. It's totally ten windows that can be open so that will be good when we come to the Caribbean. Now we are in Las Palmas uh, preparing the boat for the Atlantic crossing. So over here we just store the, the dinghy. Uh, usually we have that in the back of the boat on the arch or we can store it up here as well. Uh, we haven't done that lately. One reason why we bought this boat is uh, a very safe boat, both in design and uh, yeah, it's a center cockpit where you're always protected. But uh, we like to move on the boat and it has these good holds all, all where you walk. Uh, and also this part where, where you have the, uh, you can stand here and it's very, you feel very safe all the time when, uh, when you're on deck. Uh, and of course we are always hooked in. So it's, uh, it's smooth to move around. Uh, now we're coming back to to the uh, to the cockpit. Uh, these winches, all winches are uh, Anderson winches, stainless steel. Uh, this is a 58 size 58. Uh, you can find these on 50 feet boats as well. So uh, it's uh, it's proper gear all, all through the boat. So the back of the boat, uh, we have built an arch where we have all the solar panels. Uh, right now we have uh, 700 watts and a wind generator. And some uh, we try to equip it with all the uh, cool uh, cruising equipment, but we still have some uh, parts to fill here, uh, fishing rods and stuff like that. And. Uh, this is a place where we like to sit uh, and this got even better with the, uh, uh, with the arch because now we're here you're very protected and it doesn't matter how the boat behaves, we can sit and uh, just relax. I don't know how many hours uh, we spent on this position because here you can control everything. The boat is equipped with the traditional sort of all you need features for navigation. Um, here is it very protected from all all kinds of conditions. Um, we have the autopilot here and the plotter and all the wind instruments. Um, it's a basic function. It's 
uh, ten, everything is 10 years old and it was very good by then. Uh, the center cockpit, uh, it's slightly smaller than ordinary boats. Uh, of course, in ordinary boats, we have the cockpit is in the aft. It can be wider uh, or almost all the way out to the uh, edge of the boat. But uh, the boat is really made for uh, up to four person, and then the cockpit works very well. And uh, it's uh, like a full length. Uh, beds here so maybe we will sleep outside when it's warmer now we have the canvas on and the christmas light um, and uh, with the center cockpit the uh, the steering wheel is more in front so you actually have better control of the boat here i think than uh, when you have it in the back maybe not if you compare with the when you have two steering, wheel, steering wheels, that's, I think, a very cool new feature on newer boats. The boat uh, is very traditional in all, all ways. Uh, the, uh, the back of the boat is not the uh, sharp uh, back, it's traditional. And this is the, the windows from our bedroom. Uh, very nice and this transom where we can sit and uh, have a swim we can actually have all the scuba gear equipment on and we can use the the ladder so uh, yeah it's uh, it's good for fishing and uh, swimming and uh, we are prepared to go to the Caribbean and use this a lot the hull is quite deep and not as flat as modern boats this makes her go smooth in all times, especially in rough conditions. The keel is relatively short and deep, and with its spade rudder, she has good sailing performance. The back of the boat is fairly narrow, so we always have good grip with the rudder. We pushed the boat once to understand how much she could take before broaching. We had 15 knots of wind from the beam, and with Jenneker and a full main, we still had full control of the boat. When it eventually broached, it wasn't one of those racing boat broaches with water in the cockpit and the crew hanging from their lifelines. It was slow and without drama. Welcome down to our saloon, our home. Uh, this is the uh, living room where we hang out the most. Uh, Lina is doing the uh, movie now and uh, it's all nice and clean here. We have done what we call in Sweden, the king is coming and they clean everything up. So now it looks a lot of better or tidier than uh, it usually is. I'm quite afraid just open these, these cupboards. It's probably, yeah, you see. <laughs> so this is one cupboard, the only one you will see right now. <laughs> Otherwise we have to do so much cleaning up. This uh, Nayad 405 is uh, 10 years old now, and, uh, but we haven't done much changes. So what you see now is uh, the, the way it was built. We have done some smaller changes. Here uh, was a TV set uh, when we bought it and we built some uh, shelves instead to have the art from uh, Lina's daughter. Uh, and. Um, uh, we basically done improvements on the technical stuff like change to lithium batteries and uh, increase the uh, solar panels and wind generator or all the electricity. In this space uh, we can uh, fit uh, approximately eight people into the... invite six people to uh, for dinner. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And then uh, we have the nav station over here. This is actually a very nice place to sit uh, when you when you're sailing. Uh, it's uh, yeah, you feel uh, you don't bump around that much. So in here is the brain of the boat. Uh, in case mine or Lina fails, 
but we don't have a lot of gadgets. Uh, we prefer less, less gadgets, uh, less problems uh, instead of all the fancy stuff. But all the wiring and stuff is very nice and tidy in here. Uh, we have a, a center here, you can see all the information, the VHF, the battery information, the water maker, and all the control panels for the electrical stuff and fuel and water tanks, or all the tanks we have on board. This boat is very much made for these kind of things that we do with the uh, long distance cruising that you live on board a boat with uh, not that many people. Uh, we have uh, two bedrooms, uh, usually on an ordinary 40 foot boat you have three bedroom and uh, a big cockpit. But uh, another thing uh, which is very good, which we appreciate about this boat, it's a lot of storage uh, in it. All the, uh, it's a quite deep hull, so we have a lot of space in all these floorboards uh, to store stuff. Uh, we have like diving equipment uh, and all the food uh, down here. Uh, the boat is very dry. We have a ha haven't had any water hardly in in, in the, all the time we have sailed so far. In here we have the water maker uh, and some extra filters to uh, make sure it's uh, clean when we drink the water. Here you are, again. <laughs> so welcome to the bedroom uh, with the bed that we talked about so many times, I think, because this is the best part of the boat. We were looking for center cockpit boats uh, to have this kind of stateroom uh, with a proper bed, since we are going to live on board many years. Hopefully uh, we want a good, nice, sleep every night and uh, things that we appreciate very much is that we can like you don't have to turn around like in the forepeak you have to go up like this and then turn around and go like this when you go to sleep and that's uh, I'm getting too st st stiff for that uh, so uh, and also these uh, windows in the back, uh, like the old pirate ships. Uh, we can look, it's nice when you are on anchor and wake up and you think you're dragging. You can just look and see, ah, oh, no problem and go back to sleep. And uh, so far we haven't had much use for the all the ventilation here, but all the windows uh, can be opened and the big, yeah, hatch here as well. So that's nice. Big cupboards, a uh, lot of space for different stuff. A lot of different stuff for all the time. I'm going to bed too. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> no, now we're going to lo look at the, uh, the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. Uh, this is actually, uh, we find a very good uh, solution. It's, it, it is a big uh, kitchen with a lot of uh, space, as you can see. But it's very easy to uh, work when, it's, uh, when you're out on the ocean and the big waves, um, because you can stand here in a, in a good position. Uh, here's a large, large fridge. Um, and some, uh, yeah, where you have all the stuff. Uh, and this area is very good because you can see everything here. We have done some improvement to have all the uh, uh, spices that, so they don't fall back and forth all the time. Uh, if it's bumpy, they of course go dick, dick, dick. Uh, now we are on uh, shore power. So we have the, uh, we bought uh, induction uh, 
stove plate, uh, which is very handy if you have uh, 230 volts. We have also have a water boiler. This actually we use uh, uh, when we have a lot of energy in the batteries. Uh, it's nice because it doesn't get too warm uh, in here. We're actually uh, really satisfied with this stove. It's a forest hand stove and um, we make bread and stuff like that um, quite often. Uh, and we, yeah, we, uh, we crack the code how it works with the, the gas uh, stove or the oven especially. Yeah, yeah. Some, uh, here we have made some modifications too. We had a microwave here when we bought it, but uh, we are not uh, microwave people. Uh, so we are coffee drinkers. Yeah and uh, black pepper persons. Large uh, place here for all these stuff. I have to show you the most quite odd thing uh, we think. Uh, in Sweden we don't use these pressure cookers. Uh, we use it every day now. It's so good. Uh, it's efficient and it feels very safe because it's no risk of having hot water or food uh, going all over the place. Uh, of course, when you let the steam out, you have to be a little bit careful, but it's very controlled. Cheers. Maybe uh, the most important room, uh, the bathroom uh, or the head. Uh, this is uh, super efficient. You can have a shower at the same time you uh, go to the, to the loo. Uh, in here we have all the wet gear. Uh, so uh, it's both that we can uh, direct the heater into this cupboard and it's, uh, if it's very wet, uh, it is drained locker as well. But otherwise it's just an ordinary... Um, yeah, bathroom. But it's quite roomy and nice and uh, you can sit here when it's uh, tilting over or very uh, big waves. So this is the guest cabin. Uh, right now, uh, my brother John is uh, staying here. The, uh, you can tell by all the technical stuff. Uh, he is not here right now because he's behind the uh, behind the camera, uh, doing uh, maybe the better quality of the movies that we have produced so far. But uh, we are learning here. Uh, the same thing with a lot of big uh, cupboards. Under here, there's a lot of room. We have uh, the Janneker, the storm sails, the diving equipment, uh, some a lot of spare parts, uh, all filled here. Uh, the water tanks and the fuel tanks are underneath the sofas in the saloon. Uh, this is to make the boat lighter in the front to make it sail better, but I don't know if this, what we have here is lighter than uh, diesel and uh, water. So this is our multi-purpose room. We, uh, it's the uh, panic room, it's the think tank, it's the engine room, uh, it's the uh, electrical room and we use it for when we make bread as well. So we put it here. Uh, it's uh, usually a little bit warmer uh, in here and uh, no wind whatsoever. I like the feeling to sit here when it's cold or uh, uh, it's uh, like a space shuttle inspired with all the tin foil on the, on the side. Uh, 
this one uh, is a Volvo Penta D2 55, 55 horsepower. Uh, and uh, we have all the different water pumps, fresh water, shower pump, and uh, uh, one of out of three bilge pumps uh, sits here. So this pipe is uh, where all the outgoing water uh, goes through. Uh, the water level is uh, around here and we have all the water coming in here. So it's a, this boat has very few holes in the hull. Uh, thanks to this one. This has like uh, six different uh, outlets. Um, so that uh, makes it a little bit safer than most of other boats. And as you can see here, it's very easy to uh, work with the engine uh, because it's, you have easy access to everything. For full technical specification, visit our website sailingsvea.com. If you have questions about Nayad 4 or 5 or Svea, please contact us or write a comment below. We answer all questions. See you next week.